wanted to talk about executive reorganizations. <clears throat> and in sections 12080 to 12908 uh, of the government code, it deals with executive reorganizations. And 12080 defines the terms agency, reorganization, and resolution. The governor is required from time to time to examine the organization of all state agencies and must determine what changes are necessary to accomplish one or more of specified purposes under government code section 12080.1. Now, whenever the governor finds that a reorganization is in the public interest, the governor is required to prepare one or more reorganization plans in the form and language of a bill as nearly as practicable and transmit that to the legislature with a declaration that the governor has made this determination. And the governor is required to include in the plan the advantages of the reorganization. And the two houses of the legislature are required to refer to the, or, or refer the actual reorganization plan to a standing uh, committee of both the Senate and Assembly. And that's pursuant to Government Code Section 12080.2. Now, each reorganization plan that's been transmitted by the governor to the legislature can change the name of any agency affected by a reorganization and the title of the head of that organization or agency. And they can also include provisions for agency officer appointments. This is pursuant to section 12080.3. Existing state law also specifies that no reorganization plan can have the effect of continuing any agency beyond the period that's authorized by law for that agency's existence. They can also, no reorganization can increase the term of any office beyond that which is provided by law for the particular office. And they also can't abolish any agency created pursuant to the California Constitution. And those provisions are found in section 12080.4. Now, a reorganization plan that's submitted will become effective the first day after 60 calendar days of continuous session of the California State Legislature after the date upon which the reorganization plan was transmitted <clears throat> to the houses of the assembly and the Senate, unless there's a lay, later date that's provided by the plan. So unless prior to the end of the 60 day uh, or calendar day period, either house of the California legislature may adopt by a majority vote of the elected and qualified members of that house, a certain resolution related to the reorganization. And that's pursuant to section 12080.5. Now, no reorganization plan can have the effect of limiting in any way the validity of any statutes that have been enacted or any regulations or other official actions that have taken place or that were issued, prescribed, granted, or performed in respect to or by any agency before the effective date of the reorganization plan. And that's pursuant to government code section 12080.6. Next, the law provides that no suit, action, or other proceeding lawfully commenced by or against the head of, every, of any agency or any other officer of the state in his or her official capacity or in relation to the discharge of his or her official duties can abate by reason of the taking effect of any reorganization plan under the provisions of this law. And that's pursuant to section 12080.7. Now from the effective date of a reorganization and as long as it's in effect, the operation of any prior act of the legislature that's <clears throat> inconsistent with it is then suspended insofar as it's inconsistent with the governor's reorganization plan. And this is pursuant to section 12080.8. Each reorganization plan which takes effect must be printed in the same volume 
as the acts of the session of the legislature during which it was submitted. And this is per section 12080.9. Now, the Legislative Council is required to prepare for introduction not later than the next regular session of the legislature occurring more than 90 days after which the governor's reorganization is to take effect. The alleged council has to draft a bill <clears throat> that would affect the changes in state law that might be required to reflect the changes that are being made by the governor's reorganization plan. And that's pursuant to section 12081. In terms of the last two provisions, the first is it's the intent of the legislature in delegating legislative power to the governor by this law, pursuant to the California Constitution, that the legislature intends to retain the right of review of the governor's action by means of an action plan by either the uh, a state assembly or state senate adopts. And then if any provision of this particular area of the law is held invalid, such invalidity doesn't affect any other provision or application of the law, which can be given effect without those invalid provisions. And that's pursuant to section 12081.2 of the California Government Code. 